Hi guys, Gogo one back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done some videos, so I'm doing like a bulk load of them now. Um, I've just done my Punisher and my Black Widow. And now we're going to look at my 1-6 scale kit bash of uh, the Wolverine in Samurai clothing. Um, this again was uh, another one that took a very, very long time to do. It took a while to compile all the components together. Mostly because sometimes when you order certain ones online, like the head, uh, it took nearly a month to come through from China. I don't know why, it just took forever. Um, I think there was some sort of error with the uh, postage and stuff, so it took a little while to get there. But um, simplistically, I used the ZC Toys body, the muscular body that um, comes. Is, I think that's one of my favorites, actually. For about 16 to 20 pounds, depending on where you get it, you get an amazing um third party uh figurine body that is really good posable fantastic amount of hands feet uh neck joint everything comes with the figure itself except for obviously the head sculpt and the clothing but it really is one of those quick and ready to make ones um he's obviously not fully finished yet the stand hasn't been completely made but uh this is really a fairly simple one to do um, in terms of body, you just use ZC Toys body and then you buy like the 1-6 scale samurai clothing online. You can get them anywhere to be honest, they're quite cheap to buy and um, it's very generic clothing. Um, I was going to use black but obviously Daredevil's black. Black Widow is quite black herself. My Punisher figure is very dark in uh, his clothing area as well so I didn't want these all to be just um, dark fitted suits um, so I decided to go with uh, a bit of more of a blue navy blue and the grey trousers there oh sorry the um, don't know what they're called to be honest but uh, yeah I just went with that so the most difficult part of this figure was actually the head simply because um, that obviously isn't his original hair I use a Kenshiro uh, head sculpt, a fairly cheap one from China, and I cut out the um, I cut out the face and the neck and the head and everything, and I pretty much just scalped the the figure head, and I just took the hair. Now, once I did the hair, um, I, I I let it sit there for a little while, and I noticed that the actual head sculpt hair itself. Forgive me for a second. I'm just coming over here on the back of the head was um did have a ponytail but it was uh this ponytail here as you can see and if you come to the back now this is how it used to fit on forgive me i've got to move this around and i've only got one hand there that was the actual original hair piece for this head sculpt um I wasn't too happy with that. It was far too much hair and it was not something that Wolverine would have. So I quickly just slowly took off the hair sculpt and I used, I made this one out of Milliput. And it's just a, a ponytail that sort of ties to the back and it fits back on there a bit neater. And there you go. It's a lot more. Um, a lot more subdued and it's much more in keeping with uh, Wolverine's hairstyle. I used a Hugh Jackman head sculpt, um, very very similar to this one, although this is a pretty good one as well if you can put them up next to each other. Ooh. Like that, uh, they're both pretty good. Um, but obviously I wanted the samurai style hairstyle so I just I pretty much just made him bald it took a little while to shave off all the hair um, I used a scalpel and Stanley blades and be careful with knives and all that but scalpel Stanley blades sanded it down till there was virtually nothing left of him um, there wasn't much after that once I did that I then just fitted the hair on and I used the hairdryer and moulded it on a bit better. It's still not perfect, I've got to try and do a bit more gluing down. But for the moment, that is a samurai head sculpt with the samurai hair. He looks a bit more, well, more traditional I'd, I'd say. 
And then I bought this uh, Samurai Sword online. It's actually real metal. It's one six scale. It's very, very nice. It's not um, the official one from the Wolverine film from the Hot Toys figure, but it's good. And there's some third party um, claw hands that, again, are not perfect. The, the colored variation in the hands is a bit different. That's why his hand is at the back there sticking out. I haven't repainted that yet. I might do it in a little while, but for the moment it looks fine from the cabinet, so I'm not going to change it too much. And there's his scabbard just attached into his belt there. Took a little while to fit him into the actual costume itself. This this bit here, it's a little bit fiddly to get on the underwear type part, but he's obviously got his socks and shoes on there. Let's shine that up for you. Voila. Now I'm going to do it like he's going to have a, a nameplate on there as well and he's going to have Wolverine on there but for the moment. Um, that is him. That is my 1-6 scale Samurai Wolverine. Um, as far as I can tell that's as much as I'm going to do with him for the moment other than the actual nameplate. You don't need to see that. You know that's going to be fairly generic. And that's him. Okay, um, I recommend you get online yourself, do a few bits, try and do a little couple of subtle, even even just a few subtle mods, like the hair sculpt, can really make something your own and make it completely different from what everyone else has. So again, I recommend you give it a go, get out there and uh, do your best. Thanks a lot guys, bye.